all kinds of research shows that the act of writing, handwriting something, so you can speak it also to dictate it, but handwriting uh, really impresses what we're putting on paper into our brain in a different way. Anna's holding up her planner. Yeah. Um, so handwriting. And then when you read back out loud, the thing that you wrote, you are seeing it because you're reading it. You're hearing it. You're saying it and you're writing it. See it, say it, write it, hear it. Those four things are happening when you write something down and then read it back out loud to yourself. And you're really putting it in your brain in a different way. So if there's something in your life that you want to change, like finding your zest, and you want to <laughs> sit down and journal about what it feels like to be zesty in your life yeah. or whatever your thing is, your health goals, your wealth goals, you can write them down through journaling. Say like, I um, feel confident in money management. I know that I have the skills to manage my money. I feel great in my body so that I can go on hikes and chase my kids or my grandkids or whoever's kids. I feel zesty when I eat food and make really delicious things with my microplaner and nutmeg. That's when I feel Woo! zestiest. <laughs> that is and when I feel the zestiest. So when you write things down, you read it out loud to yourself back, you're seeing it, you're saying it, you're writing it and you're hearing it and you're activating all of these elements of your brain to help take what you're writing down and make it part of who you are. We know that you were born magical. We know that you are intuitive and we know that you are brimming with everyday enchantment. Here at the Sisters Enchanted, we believe in intention, we believe in intuition, and we believe in everyday magic. Welcome in to the Expedition to Soul podcast. Welcome to this episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast. I'm Sarah, founder of the Sisters Enchanted. With me today is the yin to my yang, my sister, my co-founder, Anna. Tell Hello, what's up? everybody. Hello, Anna. <laughs> Hello, Sarah. Anna and I were just talking about zest, specifically when one feels less zesty than they used to. Indeed. Hmm. And in this podcast, we've episode, had a zesty reversal. I have, I have found my zest. Yes. I don't know that I didn't ever not have my zest. It was like a zest with cranky croutons, but <laughs> zest. I don't know what? What like if it was a zest salad, my zest salad was covered in cranky croutons for a while. Question. <laughs> follow, up, follow up question. What is a zest salad? I don't know. Like if you're a salad. <laughs> Then your salad is has zest to it, is zesty. Like if you're the salad, is it a zesty salad or is it just like romaine lettuce? Is it iceberg to make it worse? Is it just iceberg? <laughs> Don't you think you can make iceberg zesty? That's what I mean. Like what makes it zesty? My zesty salad was covered in cranky croutons for a little bit. Ah. Okay, then. <laughs> yes, my salad's a little bit of, like, week old lymph spinach. <laughs> it maybe yeah. smells a little bit. It's damp. It's damp, a little bit weepy. <laughs> no, no zest applied, under-seasoned. <laughs> I'm under-seasoned. Creamy <laughs> spinach. You probably need to cook this, like, today. It has to go in the garbage spinach. <laughs> It either has to be put to a casserole and baked with mm. seasoning so you can't smell that it was going a little sour. Yeah. Kind of make it look like it's supposed to be that way. Yeah. Uh-huh. That's how I eat my spinach. I wait until it looks <laughs> cooked, but it's not cooked, and then I cook it. <laughs> I have a magnet on my fridge that says, should we throw away this lettuce I bought today, or should we wait three weeks until it's, like, brown and <laughs> like we usually do? Right. <laughs> Anyway, we were talking about zest and when you lose one's zest, what do you do? And 
the topic of this episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast is how to change your life in under five minutes a day. Who doesn't want to do that? Say what? Say what? Homie. <laughs> I think I found extra zest before I hit record. I think I think you may have. I have now I've been laugh crying, so now I've got like tears a shining in my light. My zest has multiplied um in like the last 30 seconds. So <laughs> multiplied zest. I have multiplied zest. It's like at the Olive Garden when they want to do the parmesan. Give you endless salad and breadsticks. No, well, yeah, but when they say, tell me when to stop with the Parmesan, and then part of you is like, never stop. Never. But then part of you is like, mm, that'd be weird. We can stop now. Anyway, my zest has multiplied. Maybe you should get one of those Parmesan cranks for your own life. My own zest. For your own zest. Okay. Well, when one cannot find one's zest... One can change their life in under five minutes a day and find their zest. You want to know how? Sarah, tell me how. Journaling. Was that expected or unexpected? It wasn't expected. I was just actually reminiscing on how I recently got a new microplane. And now I can zest things with so much more ease. I do love a good microplane. Yeah, that nutmeg. I made biscuits and gravy the other morning. Never have I had so much fresh nutmeg work on my microplane as I did. Made some lemon pasta the other day, too. So zesty because now I have a microplane that is super efficient. Okay. Before we get on to the to how to change your life, or five minutes ago, I have to tell you, I went to a new restaurant last week, and their home fries for breakfast had some kind of seasoning on them. Zesty seasoning? I don't know what it was, but... It was really epic. And I was like, I have to bring Anna to this restaurant so yes. she can eat them and then figure out what's on the home fries. That's one of my gifts in life. Eating things and identifying what's in them that made them that way. Is that where your zest is? Probably. I probably could have been a food critic. Like, no lie. Like, I have a very... I can smell everything and, like, taste everything. It's kind of a problem, but also a blessing. A blessing. A blessing. My kid's online teacher, we do this like online homeschool thing. She always ends it with blessings on your day. Dear first grade. Blessings. And my husband zesty, walks, zesty blessings to you on this day. My husband's like, he'll text me. be like, blessings on your day when we're not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, okay. So, so many side trains. We need to get back on track. This is relevant, though, because Anna was like, I was talking to Anna, and I was like, my dear sister, I feel like you've lost some of your zest. And Anna was like, I think that's um, accurate. And then we were talking about zest and <laughs> and whatnot. And But journaling, right now, right at this moment, we are hosting our free journaling class. It started yesterday. You can still register and join us. It's free. You can watch the video. It's happening in our app group. Super easy to access. I say app. Some people freak out. You can access the app on a smartphone, a tablet, or from your internet browser on a computer or a desktop application. So many ways you can get in there. It's all good in our Sisters Enchanted universe for you to join anyway. But this free class is happening where we are doing journaling for manifestation, shadow work, and self-care. Yes, and we are. the videos are all less than five minutes. Woo! Mm -hmm. Now so that's zesty. Now that's zesty. If you are feeling <laughs> like you need to find your zest, or you're feeling like you need to figure out how to how to find the motivation to like stick to your health goals or your your wealth goals or whatever else ends in elf that you have a goal around or stealth health wealth you want to be stealth e whatever it is you can do this in less than five minutes. By journaling. Yeah, that's just like trying to find words. I see it in this. Health, wealth, stealth. I don't know. Anyway, here's what happens when you journal. Now, I want to preface this by saying I'm going to um, pull out my credentials here. My credentials, yeah. So I used to, I have my master's in education. And I went to school to be an English teacher. 
And I also used to, I specialized in working with folks. Um, I had private practice and worked for another small business for a while, working with folks with executive function deficits. And one of the things that we would do is work on remembering things for people who struggle with remembering things. Anna's like, Anna's raising her hand. Anna's literally like, this This was a podcast about how to change your life, but it sounds like a podcast about how to change my life. <laughs> I want to know why you've never adult executive functioned my skill. Okay, remember when I tried to teach you how to time block? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> One of the things that folks who struggle with, and this is where I think that, okay, so I think that a lot of us actually struggle with short-term memory because we are so overwhelmed with emotion from all the things happening in the world around us. So True. even if you don't have, if this, if you're not a person who's like, oh yeah, I've always struggled with that. Right now, I think many of us do because of just social media and the news and whatever. And all kinds of research shows that the act of writing handwriting something so you can speak it also to dictate it but handwriting uh, really impresses what we're putting on paper into our brain in a different way and was holding up her planner yeah um so handwriting and then when you read back out loud the thing that you wrote you are seeing it because you're reading it you're hearing it you're saying it and you're writing it see it say it write it hear it those four things are happening when you write something down and then read it back out loud to yourself. And you're really putting it in your brain in a different way. So if there's something in your life that you want to change, like finding your zest, and you want to <laughs> sit down and journal about what it feels like to be zesty in your life, yes. or whatever your thing is, your health goals, your wealth goals, you can write them down through journaling. Say like, I... Um, feel confident in money management. I know that I have the skills to manage my money. I feel great in my body so that I can go on hikes and chase my kids or my grandkids or whoever's kids. I feel zesty when I eat food and make really delicious things with my microplaner and nutmeg. That's when I feel Woo! zestiest. <laughs> that is when I feel the zestiest. So when you write things down, you read it out loud to yourself back, you're seeing it, you're saying it, you're writing it and you're hearing it and you're activating all of these elements of your brain to help take what you're writing down and make it part of who you are so that you remember it, it's encoded into you. And this is how in less than five minutes a day, you can literally change your life through journaling if you take the extra step and read it back to yourself out loud. Think about what life would look like if you had the foundation to do the shadow work, understand where you're holding yourself back, and the confidence to bring some everyday magic elements into your life, follow your intuition, and know exactly the steps forward for you. Well, that's what we teach you and more in our Holistic Witchery program. Be sure to get on the wait list for Holistic Witchery. It's the one class we think everybody should take here at the Sisters Enchanted. It has changed so many lives and is at the core of all of our fundamental beliefs about who we are and how we propel ourselves forward in a way that makes great change for ourselves and those around us. Check out holisticwitchery.com, get on the wait list, and we can't wait to welcome you into class just as soon as enrollment opens. I like it. End podcast. Dunsky. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> kind of. Now it's a short episode today because that's what it's about. But that takes less than five minutes. Whatever it is that you want to have in your life. If you've been following along the journal class or our last podcast episode, we talked about there's no wrong way to journal. Like you can write reflectively or whatever it is. But making a point to have at least like one sentence that is like, I feel so grateful for this life that I have. I feel grateful for my health. I feel grateful for the roof over my head. Um, I Each day is a new day. <laughs> and then whether you might not want to read, like if you're, if you're like venting or reflecting on something, maybe you don't want to read the whole thing, but the part of it that is the like, and here's my stake in the sand for how I want to feel, the stake in the ground for how I want to feel going forward, write it and read that out loud and do it every single day, less than five minutes. Eventually you will remember it. And in these moments where you need to recall what it is that you're trying to work on, what your goals are and why, 
it's easier to bring them in front of mind because you've been doing this sort of exercise. Mm. Mm. Speaking of journaling for Speaking. zestiness Speaking. And, and, and changing your, your life. Zest, change life. I, I pulled a card asking what can I do to remove the barriers to my zestiness. Mm -hmm. And I just currently happen to have the Oracle of Shadow and Light on my desk. Yeah. Um, and there's Lucy Cavendish. There. No, but I got this card that's called the Violet Duchess and it's called Stifled, Bored, and Stuck. It's all about like pretending to be serene and not making waves and being like quiet and letting things just go by and not speaking your truth because you're too afraid to be a troublemaker and make uh -huh. waves. Uh-huh. Zest. 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 Make trouble. Make waves. So apparently I'm I need to do the opposite of stifled board and stuck. Speak your peace. <laughs> and be zesty microplane your nutmeg is that a verb great great your nutmeg <laughs> i don't i think that the the active word would be to zest well i guess you zest a lemon do you zest a nutmeg no no i think you great nutmeg. you great nutmeg you zest a lemon i don't know i'm the wrong <laughs> person to ask that but i do own you definitely a zest a lemon I use my microphone for lots of things that like for cheese, even though it's not for cheese, but it's just really convenient and like it's small to so clean. Okay. Inside thing about me. I will only use the small dinner plates, the salad plates, because I don't like to wash the big plates. I only so, use the little plates too. Was it because you don't like to wash the big plates? I don't know. I think it's because the big plates feel like there's too much space. Because <laughs> I like to plate. So, like, I think I need, like, a little space to make something beautiful. So, either we eat out of pasta bowls, like hmm. the flat, like, you know, pasta bowls. Those or are too big. small dinner plates. And we then on some days. Small ones? Or one of those cereal bowls? <laughs> Just a small tasting bowl mm -hmm. <laughs> and a teaspoon. Mm -hmm. uh, and then some days, when it's, like, just Chad and I for dinner, my husband and I, I put one plate down. <laughs> Yeah, it's some extra napkins for spillage across the way. Mm -hmm. I've been known to just eat out of the pan or pot or whatever at the kitchen too. because yeah. who needs more dishes? And like we have a dishwasher and my husband loads it, but we've never had a dishwasher. And then when he stopped working and became a stay-at-home dad, then we got a dishwasher. So I think that I just have like a lifetime of hand washing dishes though behind me and I yeah. see big dishes and I'm like, mm -mm. yeah, nope. Mm -mm. I just feel spacious. Mm -hmm. Not at all. Anyway. Okay. So you can zest your way though into a zestier life or whatever it is that you want through journaling, truly swear hand to heart because it changes your brain, yeah. which is the thing that you need to do to change your circumstance. Believe it. it mm -hmm. All right. Five minutes a day or less. But the trick, you got to write something though worth saying out loud. Like, I'm so grateful for. I have the confidence too. I know that my health goals just around the corner. I know that I'm zesty. I know that I'm zesty. <laughs> I know that I am zesty. Okay. Well then, that is it on this day. Short one. It's good. Learned a lot about our eating habits. <laughs> we like cheese and carbohydrates. <laughs> we run here and who's planted her zest under a plant by accident. <laughs> Oops. I'm gonna just go lift them all up now. Do a good dusty underneath them all. We take a day. Bye. We take two. <laughs> And yeah. All right. If you're in the journal class with us, the free class, thank you for being there. Make sure you're participating because there's giveaways. We love giveaways, but you got to participate to be entered. And if you have not joined, look for where the links are. Shoot us an email, a message, whatever. If you can't find the link and we will get it to you so you can sign up. It's free and you want to be there. All right. Yes. 
Okay, well, you will hear from Anna on Friday's episode with the astrology forecast. Anna and Sarah Milne, our lovely Sarah astrology teacher and all things amazing here. Mm -hmm. And until next time, we hope that you have an incredibly enchanted rest of your day ahead. Bye. Bye. If you liked this episode of the Expedition to Soul podcast, please rate, review, subscribe. If you're listening on Apple podcasts, it will really help us spread everyday magic, intention, and intuition to the masses and helps us so much as a small business. Be sure to hit that subscribe button on your favorite podcasting platforms. So you never miss an episode. There are new episodes every Tuesday and astro forecasts for the week ahead every Friday. If there's any topics you'd want to hear, anything you want us to dive deeper into, shoot us an email at magic at the sisters And as always, thank you so much for listening and being part of the community here at the sisters enchanted, and we'll see you in the next episode.